A few days ago, I woke up in a state I've never been with a friend I've never met. We rose in complete darkness, huddled up by a fire, talking story. Then we decided to get a little more silent and a little more still, speaking the unspoken language we both shared. yesterday in Washington and ever since I arrived here I feel like I've just been meditating the whole time and we kind of have been. I'm very desensitized to the cold so this is very new to me and I'm so happy because I love fall and the trees are just looking so stunning. I love that there's evergreens and also I forget what the trees are called that change leaves during the season but it's just I have always wanted to come to Washington and this is my first time so we're having a chill day today we're going to do a two-day hike and then spend some time in or near Seattle so I'm so excited for those rainy cold green forests I feel like my heart is already <laughs> lingering there I'm just going to be editing today and we shall see what unfolds I'm gonna wash my face and I think do a face mask. I've been breaking out, which is nothing new. I think I just have adult acne. And I think that after falling in love this past year, I have just kind of been breaking out. I started breaking out after I fell in love, which happened last time. And I think it's a pattern. I think that it just triggers my hormones in a different way. So it's just something that I'm accepting. But after a year, the last time it started to calm down, so I'm thinking that might be the case again. <laughs> time for lunch. Yes, time for lunch. <laughs>
talking in the car about how most people probably wouldn't expect us to hang out or <laughs> create together but we actually have a lot in common and it's mm -hmm. been really sweet yeah we've had such a nice time i feel like we've had so many conversations about so many things i know we made some butter <laughs> <laughs> we went down to the river <laughs> shea butter not non-vegan butter yeah yeah body butter <laughs> We spent five hours in the car today. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And yeah, so we're doing a hike tomorrow and we're just getting ready and we're just gonna let ourselves pass out tonight and see what tomorrow brings. It might be really rainy and wet and maybe snowy, so it's just gonna be an adventure and I'm really excited. Mm -hmm, me too. <laughs> and we're gonna cuddle and watch a movie and stretch. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> No, no, three and a half. Okay, but we've gone three thousand feet in elevation, so which means a lot of uphill. <laughs> yeah, a lot of up. Which I'm really grateful for because then after we get all of our incline out of the way, it'll be pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I haven't ever been on a hike where it's kind of dangerous to stop without layers on. Yeah. Every time we stop for like a five-minute water drink, we're just cold again yeah mm. it's pretty cold but pretty blessed with this sun actually we were preparing for rain mm -hmm. how's your body feeling so far tired mm -hmm. my legs are sore i'm trying not to think about when we're going uphill that they're like aching i don't know yeah this is really hitting the spot. I know. Mm. This is the best idea ever. <laughs> Yours is so perfect with all the lettuce sticking out of the side. Oh, hey, it looks like a real like, <laughs> Looks like a Krabby Patty or something. <laughs> Keep connecting to my breath. Yeah. Trying to go beyond the soreness, the pain, the tiredness. Mm. We're feeling delirious. Yeah. I don't even know what mile we're on, but we're uh, about, mile 100. <laughs> about to begin another little incline. It's just really kicking my butt. It's pretty hard to depict the strenuousness of a hike on camera properly or accurately, 
but we were so exhausted and ready to stop moving as we started in the darkness and we hiked down to these two lakes and decided to set up our camp here. In total the first day I think we hiked around eight miles and had about 12 to do the next day since we didn't completely split the hike in half and this was absolutely the right choice for us. We just needed to lay and rest. You just gotta really just let yourself sing. Oh, that looks crazy. crazy. We made um, Mexican quinoa bowls, made in Maine. <laughs> 710 calories for this whole thing, which is great. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. It's <laughs> hard <laughs> to say mm, right now. <laughs> It's like green and like <laughs> hard. Hard. Some B12. B12. So the hike up here was extremely challenging. It was just never flat. Just went straight up basically the whole time. Excruciatingly. <laughs> You just feel like you're walking in slow-mo when you're walking uphill that long. I know, with like this big backpack on, just like barely making it. It's really nice. The pockets of hiking that we had where we weren't even talking to each other and we were just Zoning in, out. in it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rinsing out the pot so that we don't attract any bears. They feel great now, let me tell you. And my heart feels so expanded. And I feel like I've had so many visions of these beautiful forests and trees for years of my life. Just so many photos on my vision boards and manifestation boards that look just like this. And to exist in a manifestation come to fruition is a special kind of feeling. And so I'm just very grateful and humbled. And I just feel like a student. And I just really want to say that in this video that I don't consider myself a guru. I don't want anyone to think that that's what I'm trying to do is to ever preach. I just really like to share what I've learned on my path and my experiences. But it's not coming from me thinking that it's the right way to live life or me just thinking that I'm so proficient in all things spiritual. And today what I really felt was that I'm just such a student and my greatest teachers have been nature and the yogic lineage, which is so beyond me and something that I'm still only scratching the surface of. And that's all I gotta say. I appreciate you being on my journey and witnessing it and learning with me. But I think that we're all the same and we all have the same potential for growth and healing and wisdom. And I think that my greatest embodiment in this life could be as a student. And I think that does make the best teacher as well. I learned so much um, from life and from you. And from the darkness and from the light. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So we woke up about an hour ago-ish. It's 6.30 now. We're gonna make some hot chocolate and start hiking the next like hour and a half uphill, maybe two hours, <laughs> and try to catch sunrise. But I'm really happy we took this break overnight because we were so tired. I'm just kind of go downhill for like eight to 10 miles. Yeah, I think we have 12 miles to do today. Yeah. So. But I feel good. <laughs> I know, I, I feel much better today. I feel so high. <laughs> and it's partially to do with the altitude and also just this immense beauty. <sighs> Whoa! You feel that mountain's illuminated? Yeah, and blood red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right, it is red. <laughs> wow. 
It's about like 7.30 I think and the sun is rising and it's just so blissful. <sighs> yeah, it's amazing. And I've been struggling with the altitude a little bit but it's just so great. Onward. <laughs> The way that our psychology is set up is that anything known and familiar to us is safe and anything unknown and unfamiliar is unsafe, even if those unknowns are actually better than the habits that keep us stuck or keep us unhealthy. So going to an entirely new place, meeting an entirely new friend, for example, can trigger a bit of a fear response or even some anxiety, but realizing the patterns of the mind and going beyond them is one of the most rewarding things in the world and is why I practice yoga every single day but truthfully there are endless opportunities to rise beyond the limitations of the mind and our edges and boundaries of comfort into our most embodied versions of ourselves that are so free and so liberated this whole trip it just kind of felt like i was proving my inner child how courageous and brave i am and also how incredible life can be and I'm just so grateful. I will see you in a video soon with the rest of Isabel and I's adventures. <laughs> we did it! <laughs>